Hello guys, and welcome back to Small Park. Yay, another episode. Well, you kind of knew this was coming, right? Because we got to finish this park. And as I'm looking at what I've built right here, I'm actually noticing uh, a floating plant. So let's just uh, fix that real quick. No floaties here. Thank you very much. But anyways, welcome back. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff have happened since last time. And uh, I want to show it off today. We got a little mixture of me showing something and then the whole build and then show and tell and then build and whatever. Um, but first off, let me show off this little backstage area created. So we are over here by the uh, big swinging ride, which by the way, Pitchin is working on getting integrated. So this is not finished yet, this area, but it's it's getting there. It's getting somewhere at least. <laughs> uh, I know he's trying to make the whole footprint a lot smaller. Uh, as you can see, the whole footprint actually goes all the way out here to the exit gates. But he's placed these planters and whatnot to try and make the footprint smaller. So, but anyways, uh, this is the queue. And this right here is the backstage building that I've been working on. You go through here. And yeah, it's, it's nothing fancy. It's just a backstage. Um, this one is by... Is it Mr. Domes? I know. I don't. I think so. Let, let's quickly check it out. Because I want to give the proper. It is Mr. Domes, yes. I want to give the proper um, credit. And uh, this is amazing. It's been in the game. Like, he's made this a long time ago. And it's just. It's incredible. Because we have these in games. They're kind of large. And it's just nice to have, you know, a different kind of setup. And it's just a it's just a backstage building, nothing fancy, nothing going on inside. Um, just a little storage here for some extra stuffs. Uh, we got the extra little penguins here for the penguin hunt. I like how they're you know lined up. Kind of reminds me of the penguins from Madagascar, <laughs> like as if they're trying to escape the park. I don't know, but yeah, just a little backstage area. And uh, if we come through the gate here, you might remember we. Oh, well, actually, there's a little preview here of a building that I'm going to show you how I built. <laughs> so now you have the final result. But uh, if you remember, we had a Monteleone right over here on the left. Uh, I've actually gone ahead and replaced that with this one instead because it just seemed a bit smaller and easier to integrate. So I did up the whole queue and just added a border fence wall behind it. Just some pebbles here. Nothing fancy, just... Just to get that extra flat right in there and because otherwise this whole Dutch area kind of only had this chair swing and the boat ride. So yeah, nothing fancy. Uh, got a little penguin there for the hunt, of course. Uh, you've seen all of this and I'm not going to show you much more until you've seen how I built this building. So we're going to switch to that now. Okay, so I started a little bit and... I'm going to use the dome method uh, where you just kind of, you know, move things around. So I built a little slice here and then what I'll end up doing is, you know, rotate it all around. It is actually going to be an octagon and then I want to not have these things in the middle or at least just leave one behind so that it's easy to unselect that one. And then you rotate it with angle snap on. And you see you got a cute little tower kind of building, um, which is perfectly aligned if you do it properly. You see there's a few mistakes here and there, but I don't think it, it matters. It kind of just adds a bit extra texture to the building. So, yeah. But anyways, um, I'm going to work a bit more on the um, on this building here, probably add some details. And eventually we'll need to try and figure out a roof as well. But uh, I think just by looking at how it looks um, when it's fully made up. I think that looks really good. And I think it caps off this corner really nice. So yeah, uh, I'll try and build a bit more and uh, come back to you after that. All right, I did a lot more actually. Um, as you can see, I had a lot of details here, a lot of bricks, which I think will look really cool once they're all, you know, um, rotated up. And then I added a roof as well. And uh, yeah, it's a bit fantasy kind of looking roof, but I think it really works in this area. So uh, you can see when I do the roof here, how it's gonna look like. 
Let me just try and do this. So obviously there's a few cleaning up bits I have to do there, but I think the roof looks pretty good. I have to clean it up, obviously, but no, I think that's going to look really nice. And same goes for this building. So I just wanted to quickly stop in and or stop in, check in and show you uh, the progress that I made. I really think these bricks add a lot of cool texture to the building. It's kind of hard in this Dutch area, right? Because everything is just this brick colored facades and it's quickly just turning into a big red and orange blob of mess. Um, that's why I'm trying to bring in some different other colors, especially with this bright red building, the sandstone we have over here. Um, yeah. But I still think adding details like these uh, these white bricks, which by the way are the curves that I've used, they give a really nice single brick look when you sink them into the wall like this. I think that looks uh, really nice. So yeah, let me try and build a bit more. I'll probably end up finishing the building, rotate it around, try and put get it placed where it should be. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking where this is heading. And I think, obviously look away from this pole, I think it's gonna look, uh, gonna look really good here I like to I really like the contrast of those bright yellow <laughs> bright white uh, bricks I think it looks really good as you can see I've now rotated the building around cleaned up the roof tiles uh, I ended up having to switch away from the TMDK item I was using because it just I, I couldn't get it to match right and it kind of looks silly so this is what we have now and I really like it I need to put a little trim at the bottom I think I need to maybe move it in a bit further i think that's i think we definitely need to move it in a bit further connect it to the buildings and then i kind of want to add like a cool topper as well or spire or whatever you would call it i think it kind of lacks that and i was thinking to maybe use um maybe use one of the cool planter looking things like ah uh, these have lights sadly but it's too big like maybe we could use some of this not sure, but it could be kind of cool to use some of it. If not, I also believe there are some temple pieces I could maybe use. Mm, let's see. I call this this one. Like maybe I could use this somehow. Like obviously this is not done properly, but like do something like that that could be kind of cool as well which is kind of what's also on the original building but yeah i just quickly wanted to stop in and check in with you guys i need to stop saying stop in because that makes no sense i think that's like a danish saying i'm trying to translate but i just wanted to uh check in and just show you the finished building kind of ish but uh let me work a bit more on it. the last bit i didn't work a lot before i wanted to update you guys but uh yeah let's try and work a bit more on it and i'll be back all right guys i finished the building i did a lot i think uh it might not look like it but i added this cute topper and i did end up using that temple piece uh, along with a planter and i put a footer on it or like a curb all the way around it and i matched it up with the other building here and moved that over gotta fix the roof here still but yeah this capped up this whole corner very nicely i would say I really like that so yeah we're almost done with this area we have all of this to go still but yeah it's turning out really well I think next up I want to try and build over here um, I was having an idea for like an ice cream shop that might fit here uh, the inspiration for that is actually a building I saw on my way to work one day in this new city I live in so but yeah I love this. I think it's really cute. Uh, it caps off this whole area. And instead of just having like a sharp edge, which we kind of have here, like a corner, it's a really nice way of just, you know, s like smoothly making this turn. And, uh, oh, sorry. I wanted to do that. Put on the reshade. I think it looks really good. Yeah. But uh, let's jump over and try and work on that other area I talked about. I will see you guys then. All right. So now you've seen how you build, you know, a building like this, like a tower or whatever you want to call it with the 
with the with the dome technique, I suppose it is, where you build one slice and then rotate it around and you get a really nice uh, structure. Up on the roof, I also fixed this as we discussed about um, because they were just hanging in the air. And then if we come over here, this building still needs some work, but Pigeon did this cute, some Dutch, German, <laughs> you don't know what to put on it, I guess, but look at this cute little building. I just find it so adorable. Um, and the Dutch area is almost done because I've actually built another building as well, which is spoiler, you can see over on the left. And I also did that in the whole build and show off. So go check that out now. All right, I'm back. And I worked a bit more on this window here. Um, it's a lot of uh, rotating pieces with this, uh, you know, the, the dome trick, if you will. Uh, to get everything to go in like a perfect circle uh, and I'd say this whole window feature is done so what I need to actually build now is a window up here a round window Win window my pronunciation sometimes is so bad also my chair is squeaky don't think I'm farting I would never <laughs> girls don't fart no I'm kidding um, but yeah, I'm going to do it out of like uh, the same style down here, just for the, just making it match, I guess, but make like a round window. Um, then after that, I need to finish off this other side of this, add some, whatever those things are that holds the bricks together. And then on the original building, it actually has two tiny windows up top. I think I'll add those as well. And then it says, Anno, does it say 1808? What does it say? Huh, I can't see what it actually says. Can I get closer? 1908. Oh, that building is not that old then. It's only like 110 years old. Oh, well. Uh, but that was like, that's like the one uh, facade of the building. Um, then it has like another facade here with an end wall here. So kind of imagine that that it has one of these like gables down here as well. Oh. That ends like that. So it's kind of like a church shape. It's not a church though, but you get what I mean. So we need one of that there, one of those there. And I actually, no joke, think that it has one here as well. Actually, let me, I'm on Google Street View, so I can check the other side. Ooh, there's a cool tower there. Um, No, it actually doesn't have that. Can I go out on that parking lot? Thank you. Uh, No, it actually does not have that. It has one of these roofs here going up like this um like uh like a these we might add that actually uh so it goes around like this here and then this roof here just ends in that it looks like so it just ends here now, obviously, we have a path on the other side to uh, take into consideration, so we're not going to build all the way over here unless... Oh, my God, I just got a crazy-ass cool idea. Oh, it's just so tall, though. I was about to say, I have this really cool idea, guys, where... Um, excuse me, where we could... Um, I have, like, a cool tunnel, you know? Like... Like, how a tunnel with this building so you kind of go underneath it and you'd have windows up here <sighs> my only concern with that is that we're in such different levels here uh that's like at least a meter different level which means this is going to be so tall and not very small park low uh so that's where i'm gonna have to make a decision one i think it's gonna be a lot more tricky to do it but it does give me the cool option to build this really cool tower they have here as well. Um, shit. Excuse the language. Uh, I don't know. That could be really cool, though. So we do, we do have, like, access here for wheelchairs going down here. So theoretically, if I could somehow... If I could somehow make this not like continue to pass straight here and then have stairs coming down here it sounds like such a pain <laughs> but it could just be so cool if we did that 
like very back alley kind of vibe obviously don't look at this texture would custom do it obviously but man i think that could be really freaking cool it has a building finish here with like a gable down here as well you know ah i think i like that idea a lot she and then this kind of tower it has is kind of like this so we'd have like oh wait what am i what what the heck so it would be like a turret tower kind of situation here as well not that tall obviously we're still in a small park but it, it has the same like uh shape at least so we'd have like should be way smaller of course but i think that could be a really cool way of capping off this whole area here and then just have like another facade here whatever maybe just a wall going here with some roses crawling up i think i think we're slowly finishing the dutch area guys honestly anyways i'm getting ahead of myself here um i just wanted to show you guys the progress i made here i'm gonna try and do the window now and the two windows up here finish the gable top here and prepare to do the next little bit here yeah yeah let's do that see you guys soon and i am back again and this time i think i finished most of it it's not looking exactly like the the reference which is never something i really want to do i never want to create something one-to-one -one. i mean unless that's what i really want to do but <laughs> usually i kind of want to just give my own spin on it so i take inspiration from the picture and the real life building and i just put my own spin on it i know mineral talked about this as well in uh, his latest episode of steve town as well thanks for the shout out by the way love the ruby red uh, ruby's red coffee shop fighting the seas <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really fun. Speaking of seas, what is this? Let's fight that sea. Fighting. Wait, why do we even have that there? That doesn't seem necessary. Okay. But yeah, I think uh, I think this facade is done. One thing I'd love to do is actually do like a little detail here with the brick. Uh, and get like another brick to stick out a bit more. Maybe if possible. Do something like that. Maybe paint it a bit darker color. Yeah. Just to have that little extra pizzazz. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, I think this facade is done. Uh, I'm still not sure how I want to connect all of this. Maybe we'll just, you know, have a fake facade like, like this and just pop it in here. Because, Jesus, you can almost fit that in here, couldn't you? Uh, just like another fake facade just to wrap that up because now we're going to tackle this side of the building which is going to be pretty plain but i'd love to make like an entrance so we can make this like uh i don't know like an uh, like an ice cream shop maybe because we don't really have a lot of those down here so i think that's what we're going to do and then of course after that we got to see if we can do something fun over here i don't know we'll see but uh i'm gonna try and work a bit more on this part and uh yeah, see you soon. Well, I sort of got in a groove. Um, <laughs> I did stuff. Uh, I think I finished the facade. There's a few details missing. I want to do a little slight trim around here. But I think it's uh, the facade is pretty much done. I was considering if I should raise this roof a bit um, to like this height here. I might... Mm, I might actually do that because it seems very top heavy here and very small there. So I think I might actually do that to be fair. Let's see if I can still make this work well. Yeah, I can. Uh, and But yeah, it became a mineral ice cream um, in his latest Eve Town video episode, whatever. Uh, mineral gave me a shout out uh, with a coffee shop. And um, I figured I need a name for this. And mineral is not dutch he's very british very chuffed about that um, but no i figured that would be fun and then we could say that you know they have extra salty salt caramel ice cream flavors um which is kind of not to you know bro coast on the whole salt uh meme not the mineral is actually very salty but 
Meh. His name is Mineral. Salt is Mineral. There you have it. Um, but yeah, I, I did a lot. And I think I did most of the exterior as well. I was considering maybe if we could have a little sign here. But <sighs> most of the signs in game are very branded. And I'm not sure they would fit. Let's see if we can find one. Yeah, this is Cosmic Cow. And they're very bright as well and not very on theme. I mean, this could kind of work, but eh. What is this? Oh, sushi. Uh, yeah, no, I think we'll go with no with, 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 with no sign, but we definitely need some trash cans and benches. And then I need to see if we could actually fit an ice cream shop in here. Could be kind of cool if we could do like one of those vending machines. Gelato di natura. Here we go. Looks like we could do that. That's pretty cool. I'm down for that. Let's see how the front looks. Oh, we're lagging a lot right now. Uh, oh, we're getting a little road there that I'm not a fan of. Okay, disappeared. How far back did that go? Ooh, that's gonna be difficult to uh, to place. Mm, I think we're able to fit it here though. Just gotta play around with it for a little bit. Like that. Do we have barriers out here? No, we don't. <coughs> okay, so I can definitely hide this one here. So let's place that down. Very nice. And yeah, I'm gonna bring this up because I think that just, yeah, it just evens it out a bit more so it's not that tall here and also gives me a bit more spacer here between the lamps and the... By the way, these are TMTK lamps by Hydro. We all love Hydro. Um, but yeah, I think it will give a bit more room and yeah, it would be kind of nice. Then we got to do the, the, the end wall here. Maybe just continue over the fence. That's kind of my plan. Continue over the fence. Probably have a tree here. And then that facade is done. And I'll see if I can tidy up this as well. Yeah. But the Dutch Main Street uh, Plaza, whatever you want to call it, is almost done, guys. That's really awesome. I uh, still need to fix this planter, this planter, but... And I remember I hated this, but eh, maybe it's kind of grown on me. Oh, I do hate these, though, so I should probably use mulch there instead. But yeah, it's turning out pretty great. We need more trash cans here, though, but... I say a lot of years. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get back to working because I was in such a groove and I was like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta jump back in and give you guys an update. So let me work a bit more on it and I'll see you guys soon. So I wrapped up the front facade here and as you can see, I finished the end gable here as well. Just continue the fence, put a tree, nothing more fancy, <laughs> put some trash cans and some benches and I have an idea that I really want to make like an entrance kind of archway into this area where i actually want to uh take this somehow and make this like uh i don't know like something like this that would you know go across or whatever to the other side so you kind of walk in well it's supposed to be connected to the other one as well but you get the idea so you kind of like walk under this we could maybe have flowers on it or a sign I'm not sure. It's just an idea I have that could kind of, you know, signify or signal. What does signify even mean? Is that a word? Signify? Signify. Uh, that is a company. Yeah, no, don't, don't listen to that word. <laughs> that could signal that you're, you know, heading into this area now. Um, but yeah, for now, this is a... Uh, this is what I came up with. Still got to finish that there. That will be the next project I will tackle. And of course, the backside. But I'm very happy that this is now pretty done. I'm going to keep checking away. But I just quickly wanted to stop in because I will most likely take a break here now. Uh, real life stuff, as always. But uh, 
through the magic of video editing, you won't even know that it's been hours or a day or two before uh, before I show you the next step in this building or this plaza, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back again, and uh, it did take a day. <laughs> well. For you guys, it was more like a second, but for me, it was like a day. But I'm back, and I built a little tower. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the top here, but it was kind of hard to end this roof. Um, but but yeah, uh, a little tower, and I think it just adds some depth to the building, and it's a nice way of capping it off there. So now I just got to finish up this whole back side of the building, and... Uh, and this side as well, maybe. Let's just do this real quick, like that. Um, and this side. And then obviously you need to finish off this whole thing. Okay, so I'm back. I have to cut a bit out of uh, the video there. <clears throat> just because I was rambling like crazy. Uh, but anyways, I chucked away. And most of the facade here is now done. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. I like these trellises or whatever you want to call them. Um, I really thought I wanted a tree here, but none of the trees really work. And also it kind of takes away from the beauty of the building. So I'm not sure what to do there. Maybe just a taller bush or something. I'm not sure. Maybe leave it blank. Who knows? Uh, still need to finish this up here. I just noticed. And then, of course, over here. Um, not sure what we'll do here, but at least I'll... Well, to be honest, I just want to carry over this brown roof over here as well. And yeah, we'll see. Uh, I need to finish up this whole trim here. And of course, this area here. So um, yeah, I think it, it turned out really cute. Like nice sidelines here. Love these Dutch buildings. They turned out kind of similar, at least in shape wise. But meh, I like them. So one, one thing I really like about it is that it's like if you come from here it looks pretty tall but it's actually not that tall at all because it's lower down here in the terrain so from up here it looks way smaller than you know this tower here or even this tower over here but i think it's turning out really cute uh i sadly have to stop now again but again through the magic of video editing you will only realize i'm gone for a second but uh yeah i'll see you on the other side and we're back again so minerals ice cream with extra salty salt caramel because you know we really care about the minerals in this ice cream no thanks for the shout out again mineral that was really nice of you the Ruretz uh coffee shop so i figured i wanted a mineral ice cream as well um what else did we do well i made this sort of entrance style here which i kind of like it's just simple and cute I also wrapped up this little area here that was just, you know, a spot of grass before pitch and build these uh, railings, I suppose they're called, with the TMPTK item. And I also finished up this little corner here, just completely uh, foliaged it up and just made it look complete, you know, a little flower planter and whatnot. Um, yeah. So it's turning out really well. We still have lots to do, but it's like we're doing great progress, I'd say. And it really helped with this backstitch area because then this is sort of done. We need to, I think this weekend, I'm going to focus on finishing the wooden coaster with the foliage, the texture. And um, I think the station building is like, oh, I see a gap in there. But the station building is like 95% mm, done, basically. Need some lights in here. Uh, and then we got to work on the execute a bit. It's it's pretty done. Uh, I know I finished up all of this here. Not sure if I wanted to add something more here. I, I don't know. What do we have on the other side? Do we have windows? No, we don't actually. It's just a gift shop. So maybe we'll just leave it as, as it is and do the whole Pro Nation uh, Pro Coaster. It's fine. We're done. Stamp on it. Uh, but yeah, finishing up this whole coaster would be something I'd really love to do this weekend, especially the transfer track here, and then having a path going from this backstitch area all the way up here. I started making this dirt road kind of situation uh, that, that ends up in this backstitch area here where we have it fenced off. So this is supposed to be, you know, you can open this gate or whatever, and then you can get in there and drive all the way around so you don't have to go through the park. 
So if we zoom out here, I really want to get this stuff done this weekend because that only leaves this little area down here. Still a few things and bits missing over by the lock flume and the bat. And then obviously the whole exit area, including this uh, backstage area here. Uh, I poured it over a building from a, an old save I did. You can see it's it's not completed because it was stuck to another building, but I just like the details here. So I'm gonna try and make this fit here just to save myself some time and get a building in there. Gotta get a whole staff entry here, do something up here. Pitchin started working on the parking lot. So right now he's busy making all these um, fences look good because it's not a straight area. So you can't just copy them all over. We decided to have it slightly uh, slightly curved with some different curves. It's not a lot, it's barely noticeable actually, but it's there, trust me, because he's been really annoyed about it. <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna texture paint, we're gonna switch out some of the trees, make it more random as well, finish up all of this, and then we're done. And I'll make it sound so easy. But no, we are definitely just, you know, chucking ahead, trying to get stuff done. Gotta do the whole outer perimeter with trees as well, because that's just the easiest way a finishing of a park. I would have loved to build like a small village or buildings, but let's be realistic here time-wise. So we're just gonna have trees all the way around. Um, can't wait for Planet Coaster 2 and the texture brush. I was about to say the, the foliage brush, that would be really nice and really help finishing up uh, any outer skirts of your park that you may want to quickly finish. But yeah. Uh, I hope you liked this episode. It wasn't that long compared to the last few ones, but I just kind of want to show off something and also get something uploaded so I can keep practicing video editing and, you know, just a whole YouTube game because I have some cool ideas for Planet Coaster 2, uh, some great content ideas. And what's really stopping me is the whole editing part. So I need to try and get better th at that. Anyways, um... What else is there to add? There's not much else to add. I just want to say thank you guys for watching again and leaving amazing, sweet comments. I really appreciate that, guys, honestly. And uh, smash that like button. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, give me a like if you want to. But as always, you know, I prefer comments a lot more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And oh, we're getting all dizzy here. At least I am. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to leave you some cool little cinematics as an outro. But uh, take care. Until the next episode, bye.